Alright everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4. In the last exciting episode, I beat the intro stage, and now I'm given a choice between these eight. Um, since Jungle is the first one, let's do Jungle. Okay, so, anyway. Whee! Now, in this game, there are four pieces of armor that you get, not including the ultimate armor that you can get later, because I don't freaking feel like getting it. But there's four pieces in total, and the reason I'm bringing that up is that one of the pieces is on this level, so make sure you don't miss it. Should be getting at that point pretty soon. It's near the beginning. It's Yeah, it's right here. This cave, you can actually go over here. And over here, you meet up with Dr. Light, whom you might know from the first Mega Man games. Anyway. Yay! Don't celebrate just yet. You know what this means, right? Now you have to give a tutorial. If you don't, then these babies will... One moment. Or these babies will die. You don't want these babies to die, do you? Okay, the hover boots. All you have to do to activate the hover boots is jump, and then while you're in the air, press the jump button again. It lasts a little while, but it doesn't last as long if you move while you're hovering. This is particularly convenient when you need help with some platforming if you're having difficulty, or if an obstacle happens to be rolling along the ground, or if an enemy is too stupid to shoot upwards. And I believe it also lets you air dash now, so if you jump and press dash, it actually lets you dash in the air. Now, you can't hover if you dash and then jump. You can't hover or air dash, so you gotta be wary of that. Alright, so we got the hover boots. Now let's go and beat this level. If you're ever uncertain of a drop like that one just now, you can use the hover boots to save yourself in case it might be a bottomless pit or something. I really like the graphics on this level. The way that they got the water running is really sweet. The enemies are pretty cool, too. I don't really know when it happened, but the Mega Man games seem to have gotten a lot easier. Like, the ones for the NES I thought were kinda hard. They might not have been, but I kinda thought they were. Just because I hate those freaking disappearing floor blocks that just make me die all the time. But this one, this one's not very hard. Some of the bosses can be, if you don't know what weapon is effective against them, but since I do, this is going to be a really easy playthrough. Alright, now this is the end of the stage, so let's go on to Act 2. Alright, so here we go, Act 2. Gotta go fight the boss at the end of this part. Dodge the webs. Got the spiders. The music for this stage I really don't like as much as some of the other stages, but that might just be because I've had this emulator on for about about three hours just sitting here on this one stage waiting to record this video. So I'm kind of sick of this, just kind of want to get this level over with. charge the green one up pretty fast. I think I just found a use for that. Dodge all the little snakes. Who makes a robot snake, really? What's the point? Now, like, a robot spider, that's cool. What's the point of a robot snake? The background is pretty detailed. If you haven't guessed at this point, 
I'm really just kind of winging it here. When I have nothing to talk about, I just kind of look at what's on the screen and comment on it. But that's all good. Alright, now let's go and fight this boss. Alright, boss time. Let's do it! Warning! You can actually charge up your shot while you're waiting. And even during the dialogue, too. Yeah, this is one of the easier bosses. He drops down from the ceiling. He gives you plenty of time to shoot him. Just dodge the web. And then he goes back up and, you know, repeat. Ow. Yeah, if you get caught in that web, you're probably going to lose about half your health at this point in the game. So, make sure you dodge it. Dash jumping off the wall helps. Or if you just jump over it, you can easily get past it. Whoops. Once he gets to about half health, like at about this point, I believe, he comes down from the cell. Yeah, he comes down from the ceiling like this. And then he'll stay in this gigantic web that he makes, so you can shoot him as much as, much as you want at this point. He releases his little spiders. That was close. Look out. Alright. That definitely could have went better, but I'm not complaining. Now, as you know, in most Mega Man games, when you beat a boss, you usually get a weapon. Actually, no, that happens every time. Like so. Alright, so we got our first weapon from a boss. Now, when you get one, all you have to do is press either L1 or R1 to switch weapons. As you can see, the little ammo indicator comes up alongside the life bar. And, uh, the one that you get from Web Spider, you get the Lightning Web. Now, it looks, it doesn't look like it would do much. It does a little bit of damage, but that's not really what it's for. What you can do is you can shoot it, and then it actually counts as a wall, so you can jump off of it. You can use that to get to, uh, you know, higher places. If, if you're having trouble with some platforming, you can, you know, make it easier that way. And there's a piece of armor that you need this web for, too. And I'll get into that later. 